Seriously, are we in middle school? I grumble, avoiding eye contact. Hello, vlog. I've not updated y'all at all, so that's what we're about to sit down here and do. Sorry for the lighting. Um, try my best here. There we go. That's way better. So. Sorry for the rainy ambiance that's going on. My son is taking a nap. Got my water. I am listening to White Smoke by Tiffany D. Jackson. This is the first book I'm going to be reading in the Winterween reading vlog. So I'm doing this one, I think, for. Girl. My TBR for this is so cute, and they're all purple, and they pretty much all have a W in it. So I'll be forgetting which ones I have for which. White Smoke is a reading book for the purple, purple on the cover, and y'all, I'm so glad I picked this book. I am obsessed. Um, I love how she's like basically trying not to smoke, but she's still just trying to get over her use of marijuana, which I can heavily relate to. A little bit but not too much because I think sometimes she'd be kind of dragging it but I am also listening to this on Libby so I'm, I've been enjoying listening to audiobooks and reading books at the same time it's just the narrator depending on the narrator is going to make your reading experience five times better but I am 30 there we go I am 30 percent in so yes, I am enjoying this so much and I'm so mad that I have not picked this book up until now. Um, once again, I think Tiffany, I think she just has a, an amazing writing style. So I'm really enjoying this, not even going to hold you. And the little sister, her name is um, Piper, or Piper I think is her name, but it seems like there's an entity or some type of social experiment going on in this town, if you ask me. I'm not going to try to give too many spoilers, but I'm really bad at reviewing books. So, just come along with me through this journey. I'm just so excited for Winterween. I'm also excited for the reading experience. There are a couple different people doing reading experience. I will try to have all the names during the reading experience, the ones that I will be participating in. Um... But yes, for White Smoke, I definitely think this is going to be a four-star read. Like, I don't see how I would give it anything less than a four-star. And that should say something. Because if you're 30% into a book and you think it's going to be four stars, it's a good book. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I do want to go over my TBR in this video. I'm probably going to do that a little later when I'm actually up and dressed. I actually have not been feeling that well. I have really sensitive ears. So if I don't wear earmuffs or anything like that outside, I get an earache and yeah, that's currently what I'm going through. So that's why I have this on. And I just made this little background board for my bookstagram and I think it's so freaking cute. I think um, I'm going to get like daisies to put through here, but I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Or sunflowers. We're going to see. book updates today because yesterday I did nothing but devour my way into white smoke oh, and my camera battery is actually gonna die so let's change that we are back so I got 75% into white smoke um, my husband was home so I was trying to get as much red as I possibly can 
because y'all i'm not gonna lie i love me a spooky scary book but i'll be scared like yeah um it's just it's this book has you guessing so many times like you're just trying to figure out what in the actual fuck is going on and it makes me mad because like her mom is kind of like oblivious to how her stepdaughter piper acts um which is kind of frustrating because the father doesn't even see that his daughter is changing right in front of his eyes he keeps trying to use it on like oh we moved across the country and da, 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 da. like sometimes i understand that but you should know your child to the point where you realize that they're not eating or not doing this or not like as a mother i know when my child is sick when my child is not feeling good when my child is mad when he's upset when he's just cranky i know so i can't imagine my child being potentially possessed or talking to this evil entity of the house and me not even realizing it it's insane yes but as y'all can tell i don't have that much left i might finish it today probably when the sun comes up i don't really know how i'm feeling about that but yesterday i went to the library to grab mm -hmm. some witchy graphic novels because like i said i'm scared um so i'm probably gonna read these today we have witch hat altar this is a manga um i seen this on someone's tbr for winter read on instagram so that's okay let me pick that up and then witch light is um a witchy graphic novel that i've been wanting to read for a really long time now so when i seen it i was like okay this is perfect little vibe for me to do that and then i also seen this which i've never seen these before and they're called spells on wheels well spell on wheels um and it looks like your average teenage witch like um little group trying to figure out some stuff and then also these covers are like so freaking gorgeous so i said two short cute graphic novels why not this one says spell on wheels just to get to you so i don't know where they're going and this one just says spell on wheels so i'm guessing this is probably the first one in the series but they're all giving cute witchy vibes so um if you guys ever need a witch manga or graphic novel here is some great recommendations for you um i'll let you guys know my thoughts later on today i'm pretty sure i'm gonna finish at least two of these today because we have no plans honey um but my husband is at work today so i will be solo parenting wish me a lot of luck um but yeah that is pretty much the reading update i am gonna do sprints on saturday with jesse and gabby and one other youtube content creator so i want to try to have this vlog up by the third or fourth day as long as i have 10 minutes of content i'm going to upload it before the fourth day but as of right now we don't have nothing like that yet because yesterday was just like a a very um high rant if i'm being 100 percent honest about white smoke so i don't even know if i'm going to add that in but i'm about to jump back into this maybe i don't know we're getting really good because i'm really close to the end i'm on chapter 22 page 307 so i think when you get to the last like what is it 100 pages if that no we're like at the last 60 65 page mark at that point story starts ramping up and you don't want to put that book down i've not wanted to put this book down since i picked it up so that is good i definitely think this is going to be a four or five star read for me yeah i made some blueberry muffins for breakfast so i'm about to go eat my blueberry muffins <laughs> character she is my fave like i'm obsessed with her already and i'm only 22 pages in is jolene i think and i love her they're witches and she was like how's this for a broomstick 
and her friends are like, girl, we just got robbed. Like, why? Why did you go get a car and we just got robbed last night? Make it make sense. And it doesn't. Because, because if y'all just got robbed, she didn't have to be worried about who robbed y'all. Why would she go buy a new car and then put a spell on it so it can ride like a broom? But I don't know, something about her just, her alternative fashion and her just attitude that like she's going to be my favorite out of the three witches I can already tell. Um, there's a witch named Andy and then I believe the other witch, what is her name? So Claire, Jolene, and Andy. I think I'm saying Jolene's name right. But I can already tell I'm going to love. It's going to not. It's not the lighting. I can tell that I'm going to love Andy. And I'm also going to love Jolene. Like, they are going to be my favorite, which is in this story already. Um, I'm 24 pages in. And I'm just loving the vibes. So far, someone has broken into their house and... They do not know who's broken in because they used the spell that kind of blocked them. And for some reason, Claire thinks it's somebody that she knows. So it's given, you know, it's given her ex-boyfriend is doing some wild stuff. And then also when the dude was breaking in their house, he was like, I wonder if she still thinks about us. No, she don't. She don't even like you for real. But I'm about to finish reading. I'm really just waiting on my son to wake up so we can eat breakfast. I hope you guys are okay with my headband being on my ears because I have sensitive ears and it's cold outside. It's not really cold in my house, but I look like it's cold in there. Hello. I am currently, thank you, taking chapstick from the doctor. I'm currently about to post my wintering post for Witches on the Cover. I went to the library yesterday and got these graphic novel and mangos that I was showing y'all already. So I'm about to position them and take a picture. And I also want to show people that you can use your library. You don't have to buy new books for read-a-thons and all that crazy stuff. So... I have some of my own that I could add, but I think I'm going to do a separate picture for that. So, I don't know. I am loving spells on the wheels. So, I think I'm going to put one here. Yeah. Three seems like a perfect number. And I like this copy of spells on the wheels more than this one. I mean, this cover is gorgeous. But, I think I want something like this. We got some pictures. So I just took a couple. Oh. <laughs> that was funny. I just took a couple, so I'm about to go through them, edit them up, get them ready to go. You guys are very much zoomed in. You guys are going to hear my son playing over here. And you're also going to hear Miss Rachel on in the living room. So I have not jumped back into white smoke. I'm just chilling out for this right now. I am 56 pages into spells on wheels and I am obsessed. Claire, I was not feeling her at first and then I'm starting to realize she is very much the more mature witch out of everyone because everybody else got drunk at this random man's house and she was the only one who kind of realized like something's up. She saved them from that situation. Now they're on to find missing items that someone stole out of their house. I don't know, I'm just having a fun time with this. I came in here and cut on someone's manga uh, booktube channel. So I just was just vibing out. And also the artwork is really, really gorgeous. I don't know, I, I think I'm going to give this four stars, probably five, depending on how the ending is. But far as the storyline, I love it. I love how... All the women have their own personalities and they're unique in their own way, but they mesh together so well, not just because of their magical abilities in this world, but mainly because 
I feel like they all need each other to survive. Even though I'm only 56 pages in. That's just how I feel. So yeah, that's my reading update. Um, I'm not feeling the best, if I'm being honest with you guys. My ear is hurting and I am cramping. So if my mood fluctuates throughout this vlog, I do apologize. I'm just a girl, okay? I'm just a girl who has a child. And I say that all the time. It just, it just blows my mind that I'm a mother. So, yeah. But that's not here nor there. <laughs> um, I just posted on TikTok. I'm kind of just chilling. I'm going to read the rest of a Whiteout when they do sprints later on. I think sprints are going to happen 2 p.m. my time. So, for anybody on the East Coast, that's probably a little different. So, I'm pretty much going to chill. My son normally takes a nap around that time. So, this this cookie operation is going to go very great. Um, My house is in shambles. But, you know, I'm making progress in two books. So, I'll just deal with the consequences later. <laughs> Yeah, guys, I'm having so much fun with this um, readathon, though. And then this is actually my first time vlogging it. So I'm just excited to see what 2024 has to bring for me and my content journey. So, yeah. Um, I'm just rambling at this point. I need to show y'all this chaotic mess over here. So these are the two books I'm reading right now. That is a stack that I want to get to today. And this is all of my potentials for the week i am buddy reading hookshot and i'm a little bit behind so what i think i'm gonna do is at night i'm actually gonna be reading that book in the dark maybe i don't know we have so many different options sitting over here and yeah that's kind of why i'm just taking stuff day by day moment by moment because i have a never-ending tbr